Hey, good evening. Hey, so I got this skid plate from Raid Garage a while back. It's the skid plate with storage. And um, I've only had it on the bike maybe a month or so. I've only had it on non-paved roads and trails a couple rides and ran into a couple issues. Um, moving forward, I'm not going to be using this but I uh, just wanted to give some feedback as to why and a little bit about the, um, the quality and use of the product. So overall, um, I would say as far as the design, this is a great design. If you're looking for a little bit more storage for tools and whatnot, there's a nice space up front on the skid plate. This cover here seals uh, really well, so I'd say it's fairly watertight. Um, the welds look good, the uh, fitment is great, but uh, where I've kind of ran into a problem is with the uh, durability of the product. <clears throat> you would think since, uh, you know, uh, it's supposed to be a skid plate that re replaces the skid plate or bash plate or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're at, that it would protect the engine and um, be durable. Well, it does kind of protect the engine, but I would say it's really not durable and it's not meant for someone that is going to um, maybe inadvertently lay their bike down or wreck or hit rocks or stumps or anything like that. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm gonna show you on the bottom here. Um, so the very first time that I took the uh, bike out with this uh, skid plate on it. I went down some gravel roads and I noticed that there is definitely some just pitting from rocks kicking up from the tire. And you know that's probably normal with any skid plate but I don't know if it's that this aluminum is a little soft but it's definitely they're noticeable. Um, <clears throat> and then also I hit a rock right in this area you can kind of see and there's a big dent and it was uh, something where you know I wasn't intentionally hitting a rock I just you know was going through an area with some tight clearance and it had a pretty big dent I tried to push it out from the inside but um, as you can probably see it's not not great <clears throat> but you know I know dents happen and even these little pits from the gravel and stuff you know that's probably to be expected um, but where I have a problem is uh, the second time that I took it on a non paved road <clears throat> I was doing some um, I'm gonna call it slow clutch work where I was working on you know kind of popping some wheelies and stuff unfortunately I was kind of on some grass uh, muddy grass and the traction was not consistent and I wheelied out just a little bit to where the tire went on the rear tire when I popped a wheelie and then I just had to kind of drop the bike down to the side <clears throat> and what I noticed is basically the mud just the pressure from the ground and the mud has um, bent the skid plate right here I mean this should be straight across there I'll show you in a second here and it actually pushed it up to where this was up against the side case of the engine and <clears throat> really it was just kind of a slow speed drop on mud I mean there were, it didn't hit any rocks or anything so I was pretty disappointed that um, you know it kind of just caved a little bit if you look at the other side here um, you can kind of see how it's supposed to just be straight. That's not the side I went down on. Um, so anyway, you know, at that point I, uh, you know, I reached out to Raid Garage and I basically asked if I could send it back and get a refund um, because I don't feel like the product is... Um, going to work as a skid plate and hold up <clears throat> and their response was basically that the skid plate did its job and protected the engine and that uh, their warranty does not cover 
the damage that the skid plate has. So, you know, I'm not going to argue with them or fight with them or anything like that, but uh, I do want to at least make other people aware that while this seems like a pretty cool product, and it is, that I would definitely, um, you know, if you ever go down on your bike, I would not get one of these because it's definitely not going to last. Um, <clears throat> but overall, I mean, if, if you're, you know, you just do uh, some, you know, gravel roads and you never really do anything challenging where you're not worried about laying it down, then maybe this would be perfect for you. It is nice having this storage area up here. It's not a very, um, you know, square space, so you kind of have to find stuff that you can fit in all the nooks and crannies. But um, yeah, I like the design. I like the quality of the product. I just don't think it's, you know, maybe the metal's not thick enough like a standard skid plate. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you.